Now ladies and gentlemen, I understand that there was plenty of hype being built for this matchup, right? The Cowboys at 10-3, and and then you had the Eagles at 12-1. and If both teams won, you would have a 13-1 and and 11-3 team go at it in the same division. But that's not what happened. It feels like a lot of the hype has dissipated for this matchup, but I still think we're going to be in store for a great matchup on Saturday, Christmas Eve. And I'm going to talk to you guys about what it could mean for both teams. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, with this, guys, I understand that as Cowboys fans, we know our fate. We know what the Eagles' fate is going to be. It's pretty much set in stone. The Eagles will be the number one seed in the NFC. The Cowboys will be the number five seed, and they'll go on the road and most likely play Tampa Bay. Now, there are no guarantees in the NFL, so there's no guarantee that these guys will meet up for a third time. Do I think it's likely? Yeah, it, it, it feels like it is likely. We're going to get round three with both teams going at it, and most likely this will be in Philadelphia, but the one thing that bothers me about all of this is that the Cowboys are not playing well enough for me to really consider the fact that these teams will meet for three times. Oh, well, Space Cowboy, why are you being so negative? Well, guys, to, before we get into the actual matchup, I want you to understand where the team's at right now. Yes, we have clinched the playoff spot. That's great, and you have three weeks to figure it out, so I'm not, like, hitting the panic button, but the team needs to prove to me that they still have heart, right? I know that sounds cliche, but the fact is is that I know that the Cowboys knowing to draw guys and gals back into this whole ride we're going on, they're most likely going to win on Saturday, and it's just because of how the Cowboys are. It has nothing to do with the actual matchups and stuff like that. It's just when you follow this team for a while and you know how the NFL works, it's just... We know the nature of the Cowboys. Whenever they have a disappointing loss, they come out and win the next week. And that happened this year. You know, the Cowboys get embarrassed in overtime. And they go out and they beat the crap out of the Vikings. We'll see if the same result happens. I don't think it's going to be a beatdown. Absolutely not. But I do think that the Cowboys should emerge victorious this week. And I think that it has a lot to deal with what's going on in Philadelphia. And unless you're living under a rock, you should be pretty well aware of the fact that Jalen Hurts isn't playing in this game. So the Cowboys are going to be facing Gardner Minshew. And Gardner Minshew does very well whenever he starts the first game of his seasons, right? And so with that being said, it's, again, not an easy matchup. There are plenty of Cowboys fans that think we're going to beat the crap out of them. And while I do think that Dallas will win for reasons that I've talked about previously, this isn't going to be a gimme game for Dallas. And so with that... Some things that the Cowboys need to worry about. Again, I think that their run defense in terms of stopping what the Eagles can do offensively is, you know, is a little bit easier because with Hurts, he has that ability to scramble and really he's one of the reasons why that Philly run attack is very deadly. And so if I'm looking at the Eagles... You're probably going to see them feature a little bit more of the pass game in the short to intermediate range and try to go at some of these corners that Dallas have that are inexperienced and could cause the Dallas defense fits in terms of generating stops. That doesn't mean that Philly shouldn't run the ball at all. I think that they will actually try to run the ball at first, but what I would say is, is that if you're Dallas, I think that this is one of those situations where you take away the run and you see if your pass rush can get home. Now, that is something that has scared many Cowboys fans because the pass rush has not been at that super, super top elite level for some time. They've been able to, you know, get pressure, but they haven't been able to get home. So there's that. I think that the big thing that's also riding on this game is how your offense is going to continue to move up and down the field. I don't have a problem with them scoring points. I think the problem is, is can you schematically avoid having situations where you turn the ball over? Can you make it so that it's easier on your offense to do better? And I think that that's something I'm looking at Kellen Warren. I'm saying, listen, I've seen you do it before. Let's do it again. And this is your last home game, guys. Like, you have to get some momentum 
in this game. And that's why I say that this is a must-win game for the Cowboys. For Philly, you can argue it is in the sense of you do not want a team that's going to be in the postseason to gather any momentum. And you might be saying, Space, you're just saying that because you're trying to get some hope as a Cowboys. No, I have seen teams where if you just give them some inkling of hope, that's all it's going to need. And I think that if you actually watch at how things are transpiring, Dallas could use this game as a springboard for the rest of the season, you know, and that's just how the NFL works. You know, I have seen teams where they pick up momentum towards the end of the year and go on runs, and I've seen the opposite, of course, but I think that this game means a lot for Dallas. You know, hey, let's calm down. Let's go ahead. Let's get ourselves back together. Let's get to 11 and 4. Let's lock in that five spot and let's go on a run. That is what I think the Cowboys are trying to do here. They're trying to get back on track. They're trying to reestablish themselves defensively. They're trying to get their offense in the sense of not turning the ball away and all that other stuff. That's going to be something that's huge. So here's what we're going to do. I think that the Cowboys offensively need to run the ball as effectively as possible. Zeke had a fantastic game versus the Eagles the last time. He was averaging about, I think, 5.5 yards a clip. The Cowboys need to keep doing that. I think that that is going to be what's key in this matchup, is making sure that you go at them defensively. That defensive line, the average age is around 29 and 30, and you've been watching what the Eagles have put up on tape, and they're not really good at stopping the run, even with their new additions. Well, they have been able to patch up a couple things, I think for the the Cowboys, you need to run at them and run up at, <laughs> you just got to keep running at them, I know that sounds so cliche, but at the end of the day, it does not matter, I think that when you look at how, like, the Cowboys have done things this season, it feels like they try to outsmart themselves, and it really screws them up, and What's weird is, is that in this Jacksonville game, the Cowboys ran the ball 41 times to passing the ball 30 times, and they still lost the game. And you want to know why they lost the game? It's not because they ran the ball too much, it's because they ran the ball ineffectively against that Jacksonville front, you know, and that is something that worries me, is that if you know that the run game is not working, by all means, go to the pass. Like, there's no point in doing it if it doesn't work. But play action, though, I think that that's something that I need to see the Cowboys do a lot more often. And I think that's going to be very impactful. So, with that, that's what I'm looking for offensively. Now, defensively, I think that you need to you need to be able to work on stopping the run. I think that as long as you can stop the run, you will be fine. And I think then you're just like, okay, can I please get some help from my corners and, you know, we'll see how things go. But I would say you need to give pressure onto Gardner Minshew and you just try to beat him that way. Now, again, Gardner, Min- Gardner Minshew, Gardner, Gardner Minshew is not, <laughs> he's not no scrub, right? Like we know that he has been a starter in this league. He's played well and, uh, you know, Honestly, he could probably start for a couple of these teams. In fact, like you look at the Jets, honestly, he could probably start for the Jets and they would be solid. But again, I I think that that's really the big thing is you need to get to Philly early and often and you cannot, and I mean cannot, just act like the game's over. Even if you're up like 24 to nothing or anything like that. So I think the Cowboys, again, completing a full four quarters is a must. And so... You know, just win the game. If you can win this game and try to build something off of that, would be great. Now, I'm really looking to see how Dallas approaches this. Now, you know, Trevon's been sick. Apparently, Micah Parsons is... I don't know what the hell's going on. These guys have been sick. And, I mean, Leighton, I heard, is not playing in this game. So, it's going to be tough, guys. We're probably going to see Jabril Cox activated. You might see, though, a lot more Luke Gifford out there. I I just am very much worried about the state of this team. But again, I think that because you are locked into a playoff spot and when we're not in a situation where it's like, oh crap, we have to be Philly to get in. Health is what's most important at this point moving forward. So I would say to anybody that is watching this, if you could take anything away from this matchup and what the Cowboys have to do is they have to get healthy and they need to play fundamentally good football at the right time. Again, I'm not asking for now like, Oh, I need you to play this way 17. No, 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 no. I just need, at this point, I just need four games, 
four games out of you. If you can go through the stretch and get all the lulls and the lows figured out, so when you come out, you know, and you're playing whoever's coming out of the NFC South, you are ready to go, and that's all that matters to me at this point, okay? Get some momentum. Your last home game is today. It's almost today. Your last home game is on Saturday. Christmas Eve, right? And I understand that many people still want the win for bragging rights. I could give a damn less if we lose the game. I just need to see this team figure out and challenge that Philly roster. You're going to have a decent team. In fact, a great team come to your house. Go show them up. That's all I got to say, man. Go show them up. Don't be a bunch of pansies. Go toe-to-toe with them and fight. Oh, well, Space Cowboy, it's not the same without Jalen Hurts. I get that, but you know what? I don't want to hear it. Win the game. And I think that you should. I think that it's going to be like a final score of like, I'm going to say like maybe 29-24 Dallas. I think that it's going to come down to the final drive. I'm just very worried. You know, I, I think that this team has gone through a lot this season, you know, and we are now on the precipice of the postseason. This is where you get stuff figured out, and I think that for the benefit of the Cowboys, I do believe that they have to, and I mean have to figure, you know, they got to just figure out what they're doing, right? You, You are not that... 12-5 12-5 and five team that can just walk away with the NFC East. It's not like that, guys. It definitely isn't. But because of the fact that you have people in front of you, I think that that is the incentive. The division is competitive. You have good teams around you, and you've played well. And this is the third year of the McCarthy experiment, and we'll see how things go. For Philly, though, again, like I said, this is important for them, too, because you kind of want to try and get doubt into the, the the Dallas Cowboys, because I think with what Dallas, tend, what tends to happen is, is that if you give Dallas that win, they sometimes go on a mini run. Now, again, I, I, I don't want to see any, no you know, any BS. I just want to see this team play clean and do their thing. Um, I'm, I'm talking about the Cowboys, not Philadelphia, because I have a feeling that it's, it's going to be sloppy football again. And so that's where it's at. I mean, like Hertz, if he's out for the remainder of the season, cause his MVP odds changed. I mean, I don't think he'll, uh, you know, be out. I think he'll miss the next two weeks. And by that time, like they might be like, all right, let's rest him. We'll give him a couple snaps. But I think for any number one seed that locks it up with two weeks to go and Dallas has been in this position, I'm not a fan of resting guys. You know, some of the best coach team, you know, oh, well, we'll win it. I get that. But at the same time, like, I'm not a fan of risking that. And so certain teams play better with the bye, some without. I think for Philly, they definitely need to get the bye week. So um, I believe the only way they cannot get the bye week would be if they lose out, if I recall. So... They're right there. They'll be fine. I don't see any reasons for why they shouldn't be able to lock this thing up. Will it be this week? Probably not. But if it is, then we got to go back to the drawing board. Of course, we will have to see how the Cowboys lose their game. But I would say uh, for my bold prediction, I think... I'm going to say Ezekiel Elliott runs for rushes for 100 yards in this game. I think that he is going to be that guy that... Um, reasserts himself and you know look it's crazy Zeke has 10 rushing touchdowns on the season and he's still chugging along and he's still doing his thing like I don't really have any complaints and you know we saw the pro bowlers the Cowboys have seven pro bowlers that's the second most tied for second most with Kansas City and then um you have the Eagles in front with eight of course the numbers might change you might see a couple of our guys get pro bowl nods and alternates and this that and a third but with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's hope the Cowboys can give us something to be happy about in Chris on Christmas Eve. And uh, hopefully they don't ruin the holidays, even though they might, knowing our luck. No, I'm just kidding. But with that being said, guys, I do hope you guys enjoy your holiday. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And by the way, as a heads up, I will probably not have the post-game video uh, this weekend, maybe it's just with the holiday and work and stuff like that. I'm not sure. 
So just keep that in mind. So I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys. Have a good one. Goodbye.